What's happening, guys? This is Hyper Paradox, and welcome back to Let's Play Paper Mario. And in this episode, we are going to do the final Peach segment in the game. Can you believe it? I certainly can't. I can't believe we're already done with Chapter 6. But uh, this has been a really great project so far, and I hope to continue to make it great. But uh, as Twink was saying, we can use that sneaky parasol we won from uh, Bowser's men, and with it we can transform into anyone we want to. Now since this is the uh, last Peach segment, well, before I say that, step behind one of Bowser's guards, use the parasol, and presto, you are now a Koopa Troll. And you can talk to Bowser's guards since you're now one of them. Hey, how goes it? Phew, they've been working me like a dog lately. Okay, and uh, since you are one of Bowser's guards, now you can uh, go down the doors that they are guarding. Now you'll want to go through this door. And uh, remember, this is where um, this is where we were at the way back at the beginning of the game, where Mario was talking to Peach, and we got our butts handed to us by Bowser. So this guy won't let us go through here just yet. Where is my relief already? My shift has been over for ages now. Listen, could you go find that slacker and get him up here, please? I'm exhausted. He looks like this. He's probably goofing off outside the castle somewhere. Here, take this to find him. And you'll get the castle key. It's the key to the entrance of the castle. You won't be able to get downstairs without it. But uh, now that he mentions that, uh, it, be sure to uh, take care of any last thing that you can while you are still in Peach's castle, because... As I said, this is the final Peach segment in the entire game. And uh, we are going to come back to this room in just a second. I was just checking to see where it was. Okay, so... We are going to uh, go down here towards the entrance of the castle. And unlock it. And hey, check it out! We're outside the castle now, which is pretty awesome. Okay, so press the B button again to turn back to normal. And we're going to press it one more time to turn ourselves into a clubba. Hey, it's you! Oh, no, it's just me. Hello, me. Zzz, mumbled. <laughs> I actually didn't know he said that. That's pretty funny. <laughs> Okay, so uh, we are going to head back up through the, uh, we're going to head back up to the second floor of the castle, but what we actually want to do is head to right in here. Remember, this is the library where we weren't, where we uh, learned about uh, Tubba Blubba and his uh, secret. So we are going to go all the way to the end, just like we did last time, and talk to this Hammer brother standing here. Well, what are you looking at? I'm not looking for the book you think I'm looking for. I swear, no fooling. I'm trying to get, study something. Here, take this and go away. And it'll give us a shooting star. That's nice. A uh, nice little hidden item right there. And I just want to mention something. I am so sorry for not being able to record lately. I have been feeling incredibly sick these past couple of weeks. And uh, if it's any consolation, I'm not the only one who's been sick. It seems like there's... It seems as if there's like a pandemic going around the general area where I live because I found out that several people got the same thing I got. But anyway... We are going to put all three of our items in the treasure chest so that Mario can get to them later. And most importantly, that last stand badge and that jam and jelly. Alright, so now that we are posing as the relief shift, let us go back up to where that Koopa Troll is. And let's just say he's not going to be too happy to see us. 
Then again, if my shift was over and my relief didn't come, I'd be pretty pissed as well. Ah, finally! About time! You're so late! Again! Don't you know how to read the shift schedule? Well, I guess I'll let it go this time, but watch it, okay? Okay, have a good shift. I'm shoving off. Don't goof off, either. You're on thin ice, buddy. Well, thin ice is never good, especially now since where I'm at, it's almost spring... It's almost springtime. Okay, so here we are. <laughs> and they still haven't repaired the door from one... Uh, window, excuse me, where Bowser crashed through. Oh, that's very funny. Anyway, we are going to make our way to the very tip-top of the castle in order to find out what exactly is going on. And this is quite a view, I must admit. It does look rather nice. Hey, you! Yeah, you! Entry is prohibited by uh, for unauthorized people. But you're already up here, so I guess it's too late. It's a stupid restriction, anyway. I just love how they're just standing there, and somehow they don't notice Twink floating behind. I just find that amusing. Okay, okay. Everything's finally ready. Even if Mario shows up with all of the star spirits, we'll still be all right. It pays to expect the worst. Absolutely. Affirmative. You're right, Cammy Koopa. Mm. You there! You're doing a fine job! Keep up the good... Wait. Something's weird about you. You smell... Too nice. Yeah! Funny? In most circumstances, that would be a compliment. You! Why, you little... Princess Peach! Unbelievable! Out again! Guards! All of you! Catch this little runaway and take her back to her room! And yet, they still aren't suspicious in the slightest that she keeps escaping all the time. Well, they were never one for being intelligent. Well, except maybe Kami Koopa. But hey there! That's the sixth star spirit. What a pleasure meeting you! My name is Clevar. Thank you for saving me. Huff and Puff is gone, so the flowers and flower fields can live peacefully once more. I feel that if you hadn't come, flower fields would never have seen the light again. Now there is only one of us star spirits still trapped. Just one more, Mario. Here, please use my power as you continue your fight. And with that... Mario's star energy goes up to six. Mario can now use Time Out, a new star spirit power. With Time Out, you can stop time and stop all enemies in their tracks. Now you are able to use the powers of six star spirits. If you use mine well, it should prove to be extremely helpful in battle. Don't become overconfident, though. You must be careful. Bowser has power as well. Remember that even stronger enemies await you. I hope our powers will help you, so that you may help us. We're all depending on you. I'll go back to Star Haven now. I can't wait to get there. I've been terribly worried about everyone. And off Clevar goes into the starry sky. Congratulations, young Mario. You saved the star spirit. Because of your efforts, Flower Fields is beautiful again. Thank you, Mario. It was worth living so long to meet a man of your stature. Please come and see me again. I'll be looking forward to it. Yes, we have helped everyone in flower fields. So, at long last, it is time for us 
to go back to Toad Town and resume our quest to save the Star Spirits. Or rather, the Star Spirit, because there is only one Star Spirit left. And uh, what I'm going to do, actually, is I'm going to quickly take out two badges and replace one with Zap Tap. And I guess damage... De well, no, not Defend Plus. Damage Dodge is going to be more useful. And I need the Zap Tap badge. And just for kicks, let's put on two Deep Focuses as well. One Deep Focus, two Deep Focus. Now, why am I switching my badges around, you might ask? Well... We are going to head to a location we have not seen for quite some time, actually. We are going to be heading to the dojo. For we are going to challenge it once again. Hey, Goombario, get out here, will ya? <coughs> ah, Mario. Welcome to our dojo. For what purpose did you come here today? To try and fight. Very well, Mario. I will fight you again. I will not go easy on you this time. However, you must concentrate fully if you hope to compete. Mario! Master! Fight! Yes! To battle! Mario, you will fall! Yes, it is time for our s second match against the Master. This is the master, he owns the dojo, and he's the strongest member. Max HP 75, attack power 8, defense power 0. He knows both normal and advanced methods of attack. You'd better concentrate, Mario. This guy doesn't mess around at all. And Goombario is absolutely right. He is much, much tougher than, the, than he was the first time. I'm gonna pick Watt for this battle, actually. Well, maybe not. I should have switched to Bo, because he still doesn't have any defense. But uh, right off the bat, I'm going to use uh, Chill Out. So as you, can, as you saw from his stats, the Master has an attack power of 8, which is no joke. And uh, 5 is a lot more bearable, more easier to deal with than 8 is. Also, as you can tell, the Zap Tap badge really, really helps. So, uh, let's use a uh, good old-fashioned hammer technique on him. And let's uh, attack with Y. Now, he does have one other attack that I think he will use when he gets low on health. And that his he's going it's gonna zoom the screen is gonna zoom in on him and he's going to punch you and then give you an uppercut. And that really, really hurts. But fortunately, if you're like me, and you have the zap tap badge on, you will only get hit by the first portion of the attack. Which is very, very nice. And we're dealing pretty good damage to him. Yeah, this isn't really the most exciting match, but, um... Oh, Chill Out actually ran out. So we're gonna use Chill Out on him one more time. Believe me, if you use... I highly recommend that you use Chill Out against him. Because... Otherwise, I would not be able to keep up with the damage that he deals out. Don't lose your concentration. I have yet to truly begin fighting back. Okay, this is the attack. Well, okay, no it isn't. But I think when he says that, that's when he's going to start using his combo attack. Okay, there we go. And yes, I am going to switch to, uh, I'm going to switch to, uh, Bo right here. That's the way to do it. Okay. A couple more rounds and he should go down. And I'm surprised he has not used his combo attack because 
Usually he'll start spamming it when his HP gets really, really low like it is now. Okay, I think one more round and I should be able to take care of him. Yeah, seven damage. Okay, it turns out he's not going to use his combo attack. Alright, one hammer attack, and he's gone! Not only that, I didn't use one flower point either. Hmm, that was a solid fight. Very well, I give you this. And we get the fourth degree card. Very, very nice. And with that, I think it is a good time for me to end the video. So, next time on Let's Play Paper Mario, we are going to finish up some more side quests in preparation for Chapter 7. Uh, just an FYI, I love Chapter 7. In fact, it's my favorite chapter. So, see you guys next time!